All right, so now we're going to remove the oil filter and uh, oil filter adapter, and we're going to swap that over to the 3.4 engine. So first of all, let's go ahead and remove the filter. And to do that, uh, if you have a K&N, it's a, I believe it's a one-inch socket. We'll pull that off, but sometimes just muscling it. Now, if your engine has been run. It's just like changing the oil in your engine. You're going to get oil coming out as soon as the filter comes out. Just make sure you have an oil pan below. All right, so now we're going to remove the bolt right here. Um, it's next to the uh, oil pressure sending unit. Um, there's actually two. One, I believe, that holds the oil pressure sending unit bracket on. Once we get that out, um, there's another one behind it. So we'll go ahead and uh, start loosening that up. So there we have that. All right, so now we're going to use a 15 millimeter deep socket. And just be careful with the uh, oil pressure sending tube not to overstrain it or bend it. If you don't feel comfortable, I'd remove the oil pressure sending unit first, but you can work around it. Do that too. I've got it loose enough now. Right, now we're going to remove the oil pressure sending unit, which is this tube here. It connects right where the oil filter used to be, and then the sensor's up here and it's a half inch wrench and uh, let's go ahead and start unscrewing it. All right, now we're going to remove this bolt here so we can add the oil pressure sending unit to the 3.4 engine. Now, in order to remove this, we're going to use a quarter inch wrench, and we're not going to use any bit. Should fit right in there, and depending on your 3.4 motor, it may or may not be too tight, but this one's not too, too bad. It's moving. And there we have it. And all we needed was just a uh, quarter inch wrench. All right, so now we've got the bolt removed from the engine. We're going to install the Fiero oil pressure sending unit. Now it actually doesn't thread up exactly right. It's close, but we actually will need an adapter and you can get um, this adapter from Rodney Dickman's website um, and it real simple will just screw in I'll cinch it down after but and then you should be able to thread the Fiero oil sending unit on by turning it, but mine seized up, so I'm going to have to spin the whole thing. And there we have it. That's how you install the oil sending unit for a 3.4 liter push rod conversion for a Fiero.